Wildlife conservationist stakeholders in Kenya have officially launched an online campaign in support of the impending ivory burn on April the 30th. The campaign brought together, among other dignitaries, the U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Kenyan Environment Cabinet Secretary, as well as the Canadian High Commissioner. The campaign acts as a prelude to the event where 106 tons of ivory and rhino horns will be set ablaze as a message to poachers on Kenya's commitment to end ivory trade. As Kenya prepares for the biggest ever ivory and rhino horn burning, stakeholders in the wildlife, tourism and environmental conservation circles stepped up the anti-poaching crusade on the online platform. The campaign under the hashtags Light a Fire, Worth More Alive and Tweet for Elephants was immediately set off at the World Wildlife Foundation headquarters in Nairobi. The site where they are building the ivory burn pyres and it is such an extraordinarily powerful thing to stand there next to these tusks and to think that for every two of these tusks there's a dead elephant. There's an elephant that in many instances was killed by a poacher and the cost, the cost of that and the sadness of it. The online campaign acts as a prelude to the April 30th ivory ban, the biggest ever in history with one or six tons of the prize horns going up in flames. And this should send a clear message to poachers. From um, historical um, evidence, we believe that selling it will actually put our animals more at risk than they currently are. So we believe that the only way to really um, uh, ensure the survival of our species is actually to destroy the stockpiles we have and push for a total ban. The campaign is also spearheaded by the Giants Club Summit, an environmental conservation organization bringing together eminent world personalities in the fight against poaching. What we're doing is we're going upwards and outwards. Um, in many cases, um, with, with summits and there's some, been some fantastic work that's come out of them, um, we're preaching to the converted. And what we're trying to do here is elevate it to the highest political level because we know if that the leaders of these countries take decisive action, we will see that action in practice, and bring them out more widely to the key decision makers. Rhinos are famed for being among the few animals with parallel horns, while elephants are renowned for opening up the thick bush to other herbivores. Latest poaching figures from the International Fund for Animal Welfare indicate that 100 elephants are killed daily across the world, with four rhinos falling prey to poachers. Besides tourism, these mega herbivores are considered an important component of the ecosystem across the world. The April 30th ban will be presided over by Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta. Mark Namaswa, KTN News.